In this video, we are going to discuss about sensors for wearable systems. When designing a wearable system that is to be used for physiological and biochemical parameter monitoring, it is important to integrate sensor which is easy to use, comfortable to wear and very minimal in size. Wearable systems include sensors for detecting physiological signs placed on the body without discomfort and possibly with the capability of real time and continuous recording. The system should use also be equipped with wireless communication in order to transmit the signal although sometimes it is opportune to extract, extract locally relevant variables which are transmitted when needed. Most sensors embedded into wearable systems need to be placed at specific body location. For example, motion sensor which is used to track the movement of the body segments, often it is in direct contact with the skin. The next example is physiological sensor such as pulse oximeter. However, it is reasonable to embed sensors within piece of clothes to make the wearable system as less obtrusive as possible. So, in general, such wearable system should also contain some elementary processing capability to perform signal pre-processing and reduce the amount of data that to be transmitted. A key technology for wearable system is the possibility of implementing robust, cheap microsystems enabling the combination of all the above functionality in a single devices. This technology combines so called micro electro mechanical systems. In short it is called as MIMS with advanced electronic packaging technology. A generic variable wearable systems can be structured as a stack of different layers lower one, middle one and higher one. The lower layer is represented by the body where the skin is the first inter interface with the sensor layers. This latter is compressed of three sub layers garments and sensor, conditioning and filtering of the signals and local processing. The processing layer collects the different sensor signals, extract specific features and classify the signal to provide high level outcomes for the application layer. The application layer can provide feedback to the user according to the specific application and to the user's need. Next topic biomedical sensors. Biomedical sensors are thought to be used to record kinematic parameters of the body segments. Kinematic means it is a moving parameter. Okay? Knowledge of the body movement and gestures can be a means to detect movement disturbance related to a specific pathology or helpful to contextualize psychological information within specific physical activities. An increasing of heart rate is an example could be either due to altered cardiac, cardiac behavior or simply the person is running. Biomedical sensors are classified uh, as three types. One is inertial movement sensor, psychological sign sensor, respiration activity. First we are going to see about inertial movement center, sensors. Monitoring of parameter related to the human movement has a wide range of applications. In the medical field, motion analysis tools are widely used both in rehabilitation and in diagnostics. The first category instead includes devices based on inertial sensors, mainly accelerometer and gyroscope that are directly applied on the body that to be monitored. These sensors can be realized on a single chip MEMS with 
low cost and outstanding miniaturization. Standard techniques enabling motion analysis are based on stereo photogrammetric, magnetic and electrochemical systems. These devices are very accurate, but they operate in restricted area and they require the application of obtrusive parts on the subject body. On the other hand, the recent advance in the technology have lead to the design and development of new tools in the field of motion detection which are comfortable for the user. Accelerometer alone are not indicated for the estimation of the full orientation of the body segment. The body segment orientation can be classified by using the combination of different sensors through data fusion techniques. IMU Initial Measurement Units Usually triaxial accelerometer, triaxial gy gyroscope, magnetometer that is inclination, angular velocity, heading angle and temperature sensors are used together. Physical activity de detection can be exploited for several field of applications. The first example is energy exp expenditure estimation, tremor or functional use of body segment, assessment of motor control, load estimation using inverse dynamic techniques, artificial sensory feedback for the control of electrical neuromuscular sim stimulation. Usually, three axial accelerometer are used. They can be assembled by mount mounting three single axis accelerometer in a box with their sensitive axis in orthogonal directions or using a sensor based on one MOS. So, here y is equal to a minus g. Okay. So, a represent accelerometer. and g represent gyroscopes ok. So, this estimation error grows as the fun, as the subject movements becomes faster. Example, running and jumping. So, this technique is called as Kalman filter. So, let us see about the advantages and disadvantages of this one. The first one advantages, it is very low in cost and it is very low in cuberance. It is disadvantages, it is related to the possibility of obtaining only the inclination information in quasi static situation. That is the effect of system acceleration is a noise and the double integration of the acceleration to estimate the segment absolute position is unreliable. Next topic is psychological sign sensor. The variable systems are generally thought to be used for healthcare. Therefore, it is necessary to include sensor to monitor psychological signs. Occasionally, it is possible to adopt commercial devices to be in integrated into a wearable system, but mostly dedicated and customized sensor should be designed and embedded. Here, sensors for respiration activity, pulse monitoring, galvanic skin response, thermal and cardiopulmonary radiant sensors, gas sensors and sensors for detecting biochemical markers are described. Respiration activity. Monitoring of respiration activity involves collection of data on the amount and the rate at which the air passes into and out of the lungs over a given period of time. There are several methods to do this, both directly by measuring the amount of air 
exchanged during the respiration activity and indirectly. A number of devices have been used to measure rib cage and abdominal motion including mercury in rubber strain gauge, linear differential transdu transducer, magnetometers and optical techniques. But almost all cannot be comfortably integrated into a wearable systems. It is a worthwhile citing a more sophisticated techniques called stereo photogrammetry. Indirect methods exploit displacement of the lungs that are transmitted to the thorax wall and vice versa and therefore measurement of chest abdomen surface movements can be used to estimate lung volume variations. The number of devices used to measure this are rib cage and abdominal motion including mercury in rubber strain gauge, linear differential transducer magnetometer, optical techniques but here almost all cannot be comfortably integrated into this wearable systems. So, what is the drawback of this one? It is a cumbersome technique, extremely expensive and can only be used in research environment or in lab applications. Indirect techniques that can be implemented in wearable systems are respiratory inductive felismography, impedance felismography, physoresistive and physoelectric pneumography. These systems are minimally invasive and do not interference with physical activity. So, here we are going to discuss about four techniques. The techniques are the four techniques are inductive felismography, impedance felismography, pneumography, next one felismography based on physoelectric sensor on physio resistive sensors. So, the first topic is inductive felismography. The inductive felismography method for breathing monitoring consists of two elastic conductive wire which is placed around the thorax and the abdomen to detect the cross sectional area changes of the rib cage and abdomen region during the respiratory cycle. The conductive wires are insulated and generally in a zigzag fashion onto each separate cloth band. They can be considered as a coil and are used to modulate the output frequency of a sine wave current produced by a electric oscillatory circuit. So, this is a structure of a inductive felismography. So, the respiratory inductive felismography system includes the rib gauge you can see here and abdominal sensor band and this relationship allows for monitoring respiration activity by detecting the frequency change in the oscillator output signal. So, this is a this is a chest of a person this is a abdominal coil and thorax coil. So, the next topic is impedance felismography. 
This technique consists of injecting a high frequency and low amplitude current through a pair of electrode which is placed on the thorax and measuring the trans thoracic electrical impedance changes. The measurements can be carried out by using either 2 or 4 electrode configuration. Electrodes can be made of fabric and integrated into a garment or even embedded into an underskirt. It is worthwhile noting that by measuring the transthoric electrical impedance, it is possible to non-invasively monitor in addition to breathing rate, also tidal volume, functional residual capability, capacity, lung water and cardiac output. So this in turn, it will detect um, oh, there is uh, any problem in your chest. Um, because uh, if there is any problem, there is a possibility of uh, storing a water in your lungs. Next one, pneumography based on physoresistive sensors. Physoresistive pneumography is carried out by means of physoresistive sensors that monitor the cross-sectional variation of the rib cages. The physoresistive sensor changes its electrical resistance if stretched or shortened and is sensitive to thoric circumference variations that occurs during respiration. So, this figure shows the principal scheme of impedance felismography system which can be integrated into uh, wearable systems. So, this picture showing how two FISO resistive belts can be embedded into a garment to monitor abdominal and thoric respiratory activity. It consists of a con conductive mixture directly spread over the fabric. The lightness and adherence of the fabric make the sensorized garments truly unobtrusive and uncumbersome and hence comfortable for the subject wearing them. So, if you want to measure any any devices, it should it should not be cumbersome one, right? And it should be very small and in size. This method is based on a piezoelectric cable or a strip which can be simply fastened around the thorax thus monitoring the thorax circumference variation during the respiration activity. A possible implementation can be a coaxial cable whose dielectric is a piezoelectric polymer which can be easily textile belt and placed around the chest. A suitable local processor can enable implementation of fast Fourier transform in real time and extraction of breathing rate. So, this is a concept of wearable system which is equipped with a piezoelectric band. In addition to this one, you have a galvanic skin response, pulse oxalometry, radiant thermal sensors, biochemical markers, gas sensors, cardiopulmonary activity systems, so uh, in this topic I have given an overview of a sensor for psychological signals and biochemical parameters, which can be easily integrated into wearable monitoring systems. The operating principle of each sensor was described as well as some applications and examples were given. 
Generally, a wearable system has to comply with series of requirements. That is, that is example, minimally invasive based on flexible technology, comfortable to the human body and it should be cost effective, easy to use and customizable to the specific user. Several technologies can be easily adapted, but in several cases, ad hoc application should be designed. So, much more work has to be done in this field, even if several effective sensing platforms are already available. And it is very promising for the future improvement. Some of my reference for making these videos. I have given below. First one, Analisa, Bonfiglo and Dilo D. Rossi. Wearable monitoring systems, Springer 2011. Second one, Bookers, Gong Zong Yang, Body Sensor Network, Springer 2006. Third one is, Fundamentals of Internet of Things, IoT and Wearable Technology Design, IEEE Press, Willi, Higher Road. Fourth one, Wearable Sensor, Fundamentals, Implementations and Applications, edited by Edward Sasunovo, 2nd edition. So, thank you for listening to this video. Thank you, Nando.